Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we're going to look at how to set up notifications in D2L to have text messages sent to your phone. Basically, it's the same way as you go in to set up for email. So you go here to uh, click on your name, the pull down arrow next to it, click on notifications. This is where you would set up your email notifications. To register your phone, you would click on register phone, select United States, and then select your carrier. Now, on the carrier list, um, the phone number I'm going to put in is from a page ago. It's from Net10, actually. And Net10 is not an option here. So to know which network is being used by Net10, uh, normally it's going to be AT&T or Verizon. You can go to Free Carrier Lookup, and we have a video on how to do that on our website. Um, but I know for sure that mine is AT&T. And I'm going to put in the phone number. Okay, and I'm going to click Save. Now it's going to send a text to my device, and that text message is going to have a confirmation code. And I just got the message. I get the code from the message. And we'll put in the code, click confirm, and I now have it set up to send any messages about, and I've got an option below here to check which things it's going to send me messages about, and then I can tell it how many messages I want to receive a day as, as a maximum. I can also get a summary, and this is not very useful for text. This is really for email, to get a summary of activity in your courses. And you'll notice that you go down here and there's a number of items you can select from to receive notifications about. Anything that you can receive a message for for email, you can also receive a message for to receive a, an SMS message on your phone with the exception of discussions. And the reason is that can generate so much traffic, you could burn some through somebody's texting plan in no time, in like one day. So that one will, is never going to be an option. But some of the things you may want to have it send you a text message about, anytime there's new content added to the course, um, maybe anytime there's a Dropbox two days out before the due date on that Dropbox, have it send you a text message when grades are released and say when there's news items like any new news item and say two days before due date on a quiz so those are probably the four most useful ones but you can select other ones and maybe you want to receive some by email some by text um, I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to go ahead and continue to receive my uh, discussions by email and I'm going to receive notifications about drop boxes, uh, grades, news items, and quizzes by text, by SMS message. So when I'm done, I go down here and I can also exclude courses. There's a lot of options you can play with down here. You can look through those. You just click Save and now you'll start receiving uh, notifications to your phone.